Welcome to Awesome Video Game Memories, where we talk about awesome memories about video games. I'm Ryan, and the game we're going to talk about today is Contra. So everybody remembers how notoriously difficult this game was back when we were young. And my experience was no different. I remember having a lot of difficulty with this game as a kid, because um, I can only get as far as the third level and I would keep dying at the boss because it was just so hard to get up the waterfall. And I also remember having difficulty with the second level for some reason because of the whole isometric view and you know you have to aim up most of the time and it was kind of difficult to avoid most things. Yeah, um, I kind of didn't play Contra again until I was in college, so I used the code for 30 lives and I was finally able to get past the third level, but I remember like constantly dying at the fifth level, especially when you had to fight against that truck with the spikes and you know you barely have any time to you know destroy it. <laughs> yeah, and it only got like more difficult after the fifth level, because after you fight the giant robot, you know, you have to get past the energy zones and the hangar, and um, and like they throw everything at you in those levels. I mean, like it, those two levels alone have like a zillion cheap kills. Uh, let's see, like you have the spike walls, you have the mine carts, you have the fire. I mean, like everything there was like a constant death trap, just coming at you in, in every direction. I do remember the last level not being that difficult in comparison to the previous two levels because all you have to do is, you know, you just fight the aliens and then you fight the giant heart at the end and that's it! Of course, one of my big disappointments with Contra is, you know, the ending, um, it's not very long, but, and it gives you some really cheesy but awesome words at the end. Like, you killed the Red Falcon and consider yourself a hero. But regardless of its shortcomings, I mean, I really love the original Contra. I mean, it's very, very challenging, especially if you don't use the 30 lives code. Um, I can beat it on an actual system and not an emulator, but just as long as I put the 30 lives code in. And also, it did pave the way for its more superior sequels like Super Contra and Contra 3 The Alien Wars, which I will talk about in um, other episodes of Awesome Video Game Memories. So you can pick up Contra on the Wii U and the 3DS Virtual Console if you want to get some of that gun shooting action. So that wraps up this episode of Awesome Video Game Memories. I'm Ryan, and if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any memories about this game, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And also make sure to follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. And if you just want to contact me in general, you can contact me on Twitter at ThatRyanMolina. And if there's any games that you want us to talk about on Awesome Video Game Memories, make sure to leave those in the comments below as well.